welcome Andrea and Christina from Lacuna Coil. Thank you. It's lovely to see you, by the way. Welcome to London. It's you brought the weather with you. Yeah. Exciting times. We brought the weather because we're coming from Germany. So. Oh, Actually, that would be it, it was sunny. Like a few hours ago, it was sunny. So. Yeah, it's not bad out there. the sun mind. back. Come on. Excellent. Come Thank on. you very much. I'm <laughs> sure as soon as you disappear, it will cloud over again. So, exciting times. 27th of May, delirium. Mm -hmm. uh, where did the concept for the album come from? And the name, the visuals, the sound? I think it all started from the name because we were writing the song that has the same title as the record, Delirium. And when this word popped out, everything was immediately clear for us. We uh, weren't only sure about the music we wanted to write, but we were sure about the whole concept and we, uh, we knew where we wanted to go. So we, we wrote every song connected to an idea of uh, insanity that might be a strictly medical type of mental insanity, uh, leading to something more big, leading to the insanity that we're living now nowadays and how crazy the word has become. And we imagined to give a, a vision of the, this record. We imagined this uh, fictionary asylum that was inspired by real abandoned asylum that we visited in the past. And we imagined that patients in this asylum uh, were telling us stories. So we will be the one to get the stories, to transform them and to give them out to the rest of the world, to share their experiences. So that was the basic idea. I know I understand that it's kind of complicated to to express it, it in, cool, in few minutes, but you know it's something that uh, was developed in in few months and completed uh, very deeply. So in few words is really difficult to describe it. Okay. New albums of Lacuna Cole always incite a massive amount of conversation with the fans because. Your music evolves so much over time. Every album is different. So tell me, how would you describe Delirium to a fan? What would you say someone that hasn't heard the album? To a fan. To, a fan. to somebody that knows well, Lacuna Coil. The yeah. most obvious thing is that it's a heavier record and probably darker as well. But in general, I think it's sort of a new, new start, new chapter for the band because not only... Maybe a new book. A new book we, we wrote a new face of from scratch almost because we when Marco was songwriting for the record he really wanted to to break the barriers of of the cliche of a Lacuna Coil song you know instead of because we've been doing a few albums now so we didn't want to be imprisoned in our own way of writing songs so he's been looking also at younger songwriter people that maybe doesn't have our experience in songwriting but definitely has a fresher attitude because they learned in a completely different way. They grow up with different uh, media you know, that are available right now for the new generation that are influenced by the YouTube or the, the, the social media instead of the way we grow up just by listening to the records and then trying to sound like our favorite bands. You know, so the, the, this a fresher approach has been helping us in kind of destroying our preconvention you know, mm -hmm. of what it is to write a Lacuna Coil song, you know, we always done it that way, so why this time don't we try doing this other way? So when we had, for example, a heavy song with heavy riffs and heavy drum parts, instead of trying to blend it into the Lacuna Coil song, we just push it into a heavier direction and and do what the song was calling for. So that, that was the difference in the, in the songwriting process. And also the, the freedom of saying, okay, we want to do a a song with all girl vocals will do it, you know, without worrying if it's not exactly what people is expecting from us. Surprise ourselves first and then also the people that is going to listen to it. That's why we, we also start the record with the song like uh, The House of Shame, which is pretty heavy mm -hmm. and, and different. Did you surprise yourself? Pardon? Did you surprise yourself once you completed the record and you went back and, and listened to it? Did you find, wow, that's... Not surprised, but it was just like very, very rewarding because we loved every aspect of it and uh, to what Andrea said I will add to, to describe the record to a fan I believe that they will find uh, they would they will they will get in the album they will they will be sucked by the record because 
uh, with every song, they everything will make sense. The whole record will make sense. I think that the biggest difference uh, of Delirium compared to the previous records is that in the previous records there was always an overall idea, but the songs weren't really tied to each other. Uh, there wasn't a sense of uh, con continuity. Mm -hmm. That's what how how you would say. In this one, it's like you're projected in a location and you know exactly what's happening. You see, you really see things because you in the lyrics you, you hear the description of the place, so you know exactly where you're at. You, you see the record. So I think this is the biggest uh, difference compared to the previous records. Now you have the complete package because everything makes sense, everything is tied together. It's it's very it feels very experimental to me in a great way. You talked about how you were changing, you were challenging yourself about how you were recording an album, and I think that reflects very much in the flow. But you're right; it does feel very concise package. Um, do you have a favourite song or a particular track that means something special to each of you? Uh, we've been asked this question a little a little bit recently, and and it's we do have some songs that we like more than some others because you're. For some reason, you're more attached to this one or the other one, but in general, it's really hard to say that this one song represents the album. Like, for example, if you take Dark Adrenaline, Trip the Darkness represent pretty well the mood of the album. Because even if some songs were a bit heavier or softer, but that song contains all of the elements. While on this record, I struggle to find one song that that represent the album because there are so many different moods yeah. that yes there are songs that are catchier you know so maybe delirium could be a catchier song and could be a good song for a sort of a single but that doesn't mean that he totally represent the album you know it is part of the album but it's not maybe one song that I would say tells you the mood of the album you know I agree I have, I have the same feeling and and I, I think it's a plus to think this way because that means that we didn't focus only on one song thinking that it would have been the, the single out of the record but we gave the same attention to every song and every song is representing different moods, different, a different vibe. So uh, there are songs like Take Me Home or uh, You Love Me Because I Hate You that are very different for, from what a Lacoon Coil song would have usually sound but they are still very good songs that are like surprising. <laughs> I'll change tack slightly then. Love listening to the albums, but going to a Lacuna Core show is always a special experience for me, and I know for thousands of others. Are there a is there a particular song that you're really looking forward to playing live, to, to really jamming down with the audience and having great fun with? Mm. Uh, we are just starting to rehearse the new songs. Uh, for the live shows, so with maybe it's a little too early to say, you know, because some songs, even from the demo to the record, some songs that I thought that would have been one of the strongest songs in the record, then I changed my mind, you know, I thought that when I heard the final uh, result, I thought that maybe I was wrong, and then this other song is way stronger than, than the one I, I thought would have been the one, you know. So also for the live, at this point we really need to to hear it in the practice room, you know, to to hear how it, it's going down with the real drums, the real, you know, yeah, everything. We're gonna find out live. once we once we start playing playing mm -hmm. them live, and then we will find our favorites. Usually, our favorites, if I think about previous records, usually our favorites are the most energe energetic one, the heavier ones. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this with this record. Well, speaking personally, I think a lot of people are gonna be a little surprised, but they're gonna love it because I think it's a fantastic. Album. I can't wait for the 27th of May. It's going to be incredible. Have you got any final words you want to say to the fans across the Empty Spiral community? Yeah, we feel that this record will, will bring together a lot of people because especially being so close to people through our social medias and meeting our fans on a more personal level, uh, we have the feeling that a lot of people out there are uh, in, in search of of somebody who can listen to them and can understand them so we just want to we just want to tell them and tell all our fans that are all welcome in our delirium which might not be the perfect place which might be uh, weird at times but in which you will find someone who's going through the same things and can understand and can accept you the way you are
So okay. Thank you very much, Andrea. Welcome. Christina, it's been great talking to you, and I can't wait, like many thousands of others, to enter your delirium. Thank you. Me too. Anybody, just welcome beside you. No, <laughs> I already knew that.